Hey guys, welcome to Shooter Opinions, and in this episode, we're talking about the 6mm arc. Now this one's just a personal uh, build project of mine that really started after seeing uh, the 6 arc go to uh, a mile and to 2,000 yards, two separate occasions, two separate companies, and I figured, you know what, I'm going to build one of these things for myself. And uh, so one thing that both of those builds had in common was... Uh, this barrel from Helix 6 Precision. This is an 18 inch barrel. It has a rifle plus two gas test system. Um, both of those rifles had that in common. So I ended up starting there. So this is a Helix 6 barrel. Um, I went and put it in a Silence Co receiver set. This is a matching receiver set from Silence Co. It has a, an ambidextrous uh, bolt release or bolt catch. Has a nice flared magazine well. Little oversized uh, trigger guard there to fit some of these aftermarket triggers. Just gives enough room in there for gloves or whatever else you'd need. Um, and then the rear it has a uh, flush cups for slings on both sides. So nice ambidextrous um, receiver set. Obviously, I don't have an ambi safety in there, but I could put one if I wanted to. Um, this has a gratis grip from Fab Defense. It's a nice vertical pistol grip. It's rubberized. Pretty comfortable. You can stand in the low ready for a long period of time. It's not going to uh, stress out your wrist or anything. It's just an overall pretty comfortable grip. Um, this has a Fab Defense GL Core M stock. Uh, the M is for mag or magazine. Obviously, this has a 10 round 6 arc mag in there, but um, any 10 round magazine, AR 15 magazine, is going to fit in there just fine. Um, another thing I like is, is this little, it's almost like a little. Uh, butt hook or little tail hook that you can use your non-firing hand to lock that into your shoulder. I really like how that's built into it. Has flush cups on both sides, molded right into the stock, rubberized butt pad. Overall, just a nice compact, sleek stock that uh, that I've really enjoyed on this on this build. And that's on a PWS enhanced buffer tube with a uh, the real ratchet uh, castle nut that I have cranked down there. Radian charging handle. Uh, the bolt is a Rexus bolt, which will, used to be from the uh, 6.5 Outfitters. It's now uh, Rexus. It's a like, higher pressure um, type 2 bolt. That's, that's been working really well. Um, this is a Riton. is a 4 to 32 scope. Uh, I use this scope whenever um, I'm doing load development or really wanting to get nice tight shot groups um, for like reviews and stuff like this. Um, I like it because it's gives me a really nice zoom. I mean, go out to 32, it has a, a floating dot that's pretty fine. It gives a nice, nice little uh, point of impact or a point of, uh, point of aim to, to keep yourself pretty consistent. So once this is done, I'll probably put like a 3 to 16 or something a little bit more reasonable for the caliber on there, something a little bit lighter. Um, this is the Strike Industries Gridlock Light Handguard. Um, cool thing with this is you can just unlock it and slide the handguard right off. Um, that came in handy when I had, I actually had a little bit of trouble with this build. And I've never really encountered it before where you, you put together an AR, you torque it to specs and, uh, and go out and shoot. And they're generally going to shoot pretty good. This one wasn't so much the case. And, and I was really surprised because I, I just know Helix barrels shoot amazing, really consistently. And all these other components are pretty high quality components. So I was like, why is this not shooting? And uh, I reached out to John Beagle at Helix and I asked him for some, for some advice, like maybe how I can troubleshoot it. Um, he asked me to check the fit between the barrel extension and the upper receiver. So I went and did that. Uh, obviously having this gridlock being able to come off really easy, uh, helped that process just a little bit, saved me a little bit of time. But when I did that, I found that the receiver fit was really loose, like the, the barrel extension and and the receiver just kind of like came in and out with very little effort. A lot of times you'll need a, like a mallet or something to really get that to come together. And this one, it was one hand. I could pull it apart and stick it together. So there was obviously a lot of extra play in there. Um, so when I, I told him that, and he said to, he said to try out this... Uh, it's a retaining compound. This is Loctite 680. And put the retaining compound on the barrel extension and put it in and then torque it to specs and then go ahead and see how that does. So I ended up doing that. Um, it's kind of like bedding, bedding a rifle, like a bolt action rifle, but it's almost like it's bedding the barrel to the receiver. And um, 
it may be a permanent solution and I may not ever get the thing apart, but that's okay because it shoots amazing now. Um, that's li literally all, all I did differently was put the retaining compound on that barrel extension and bolted together. And it literally took the inch and a half to two inch groups down to 0 0.5, 0 0.6 really consistently. So, um, happy I figured that out. Got a little, little trick for future builds, but, uh, that's what, that was one of the things that we had to troubleshoot with, with this one. Um, Going forward from the handguards, obviously we have an Accutac bipod, and this suppressor is from Dead Air Armament. This is their Dead Air Nomad suppressor. So, with that said, let's uh, let's go to the range, see how this thing does on paper, and then uh, we'll go out and take some pokes at some longer range and and just have a good time. So, come on, see you at the range. All right, guys, we're out here at the range, and uh, we got a target out there at 100 yards. We're gonna go ahead and shoot these 108 grain Hornady match, and we're gonna do the Hornady black. These are 103 grain. And then just got a little set of hand loads we're going to go send there as well. So we're just going to go three in a row, see how this thing does at 100. And then we'll we'll go on to uh, to maybe shoot some longer ranges and just have fun uh, shooting at some steel. So with that said, let's get to it. Start out with these 10, 103 grain Hornady Blacks. Go with these Hornady match. some of these hand loads. All right, now with the flat range stuff done, it's time to go out and send this thing out to some distance. We got 500 yard target out there, so we're gonna take it from that 100 yard zero, send it right out there. It's uh, 9.6 MOA to, get, to hit that five, uh, 500 yard target. And then we got a bunch of others out there, so we're just gonna plank away and have a good time. These are the, um, the Hornady Match, the 108s, just cause I have the most of those. Are you on with that other one, Jeremiah? Yeah. Oh, missed on that last one. Beautiful sound. <laughs> that wind. There we go, 500, what's next? We're going six and a half minutes on that. Boom. Nice. Well, that dope was good. Sweet, where are we going next? What's the furthest target? For this target, it was 550 up on that hill. 588, so 590. 590. 590. Try 12, 12, and three, 12 and 3 quarters. 12 and 3 quarters. Let's see what we got.
Oh, just low. Impact. 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 Boom. You, you dialed how much? Nine point. You, you came I just, up. I dialed it in, so you're gonna just aim, um, aim left edge, just off a of left edge. I think your miss was off the left, wasn't it? Yeah, but that was wind. Okay. Maybe hit, aim right on left edge and see what happens. Okie dokie. How's that dope holding up? Perfect, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> that thing's dead on. Dead on. All right, there you have it. Just uh, getting some live fire out there, shooting some steel. Took it from, uh, you know, three, four, five, and then almost uh, 600 yards. Dope held pretty true, just using the shooter app and entering the data just from, uh, from the box. Um, quick summary on the build itself. Dead air armament, there's the Nomad uh, 30 suppressor, Helix 6 precision, the um, 6 millimeter arc, 18 inch barrel, uh, Salinger Co. receiver set. This has the uh, Strike Industries Gridlock handguard, Fab Defense Gratis Grip, Fab Defense GL Core M stock, um, Radiant Charging Handle. And that's about it. We got the Riton optics with a older Zero Delta mount and an AccuTac bipod. So there you have it. If you have any questions, just shoot us into the comments, and I'll do my best to answer it. But it's kind of fun for just a personal little project build to come out here and shoot it, and and uh, and when the plan comes together and getting impacts out of distance. So thanks again for watching, and uh, like I said, put any questions you got just down in the comments, and I'll do the best I can to answer. Thanks.